Now, by combining these two equations, we have PV equal to CT, where C is a positive constant. We can infer that C is proportional to the number of particles in the gas container. Okay? C is a positive constant and is proportional to the number of particles. So, we have number of particles uh, in the gas container that is a proportional to a proportionality constant. We take two containers of the same type of gas with the same volume. See, here we have, they have given the diagram. Okay. So, two containers of the same type of gas with the same volume, same pressure and same temperature. Then the gas in which the uh, container obeys the above equation, PV equal to CT. If the two containers of the gas is considered as a single system, okay, we have two containers initially. Now the assumption is we have to, uh, that is if the two, uh, two containers are assumed to be considered as a single system, then the pressure and, the, and temperature of this combined system, okay, combined system. Uh, will be same but volume will be twice the number of particles will also double so what will, what they are saying is we have a separate container here we have a separate container here so when these two, these two containers are merged okay for under some condition we merge what they are saying is the pressure and temperature of this combined system will be same remember this the pressure and temperature of the combined system will be the same so here the pressure and temperature will be same but see here but remember this but volume twice and the number of particle also will double, uh, double. see but the uh, volume will double okay but the volume will double and the number of particles here particles also will double okay number of particles actually naturally the particles here will also double okay uh, volume gets doubled. Uh, so, remember this point. P pressure and temperature means constant. Remember this point. For this combined system, so they have actually given a derivation of how we, they arrived at this formula. PV is equal to N NKT. From the examination point of view, what you have to know is PV is equal to NKT is the formula which you have to know. Okay. Uh, this is a, actually a derivation. They are actually showing the derivation. K is the Boltzmann constant and the value of the Boltzmann constant uh, K is 1.38 10 to the power minus 3 joule per Kelvin. Okay. And it is found to be universal constant where N is the number of uh, molecules or particles. Okay. Within the container. Uh, the P and V are pressure and temperature and T at P is the temperature. P is pressure, V is volume. Okay. Now, mole is, uh, you can just go through the definition. Okay. And uh, suppose if, if a gas contains mu molecules of particles then the number of total number of particles can be written as so uh, again they have giving uh, the derivation for pv is equal to mu rt okay again they are uh, uh, just finding the equation derivation for pv is equal to mu rt so basically the problems in the examination will be based on this pv is equal to nkt and pv is equal to mu rt so derivation from the derivation point of view we cannot be knowing the derivation for each and everything so i am just teaching only from the examination point of view where to reduce the uh, lengthiness of the video okay so just uh, go through it r is called the universal gas constant c is called the proportionality constant okay c is called the proportionality constant and uh, r is called the universal gas constant universal gas constant this this is the called the equation of state for an ideal gas okay it relates pressure volume and temperature of thermodynamic systems at equilibrium remember this point at equilibrium okay now you see the example you can understand more better a student comes to school by bicycle whose tire is filled with air at a pressure of 240 kpe at 27 degrees celsius she travels at 8 kilometers to reach the school okay so, so here they have a home okay this is home and school okay here they have school candidate or student travels from this side to, uh, from home to school through a cycle okay through a cycle so uh, what is the oh, it is filled with the tire whose air pressure is okay as this is tire whose pressure is 240 kilopascal okay. 240 kilopascal and it is at 27 degree celsius okay 27 degree celsius she travels for 8 kilometers so from the, the distance from here to here is 
what 8 kilometers 8 kilometers so at a tourist school and the, the temperature of the bicycle tire increases to 39 degrees celsius okay so when the when the when she is starting from the home the temperature of the gas inside the tire is 27 degrees celsius here after she reaches the school the temperature of the tire uh, when she reaches the school is 39 degree celsius okay 39 degree celsius so there is an increase in temperature of 12 degree celsius so what is the question is what is the change in pressure in the tire when the student reaches the school so when the temperature increases what happens the pressure increases right so what so the question is how much has the pressure increased that is the question so the we, we can take the air molecules in the tire as an ideal gas the number of molecules and the volume of the tire remains constant see the number of molecules and the volume of the tire remain constant okay we are, this is the condition we are assuming because okay Uh, so the air molecules at 27 degree celsius satisfies the ideal e- gas equation p1 v1 is equal to nk t1 and at 39 degree celsius it satisfies p2 v2 is equal to nk t2 okay now we have this condition p what is p1 one is the condition of the cycle at home p2 v2 etc is the pressure volume temperature of the cycle at the school so uh, so we have to write uh, this nk nk uh, are uh, this uh, these are constants uh, number of molecules we are not talking about number of molecules in this problem so it gets cancelled okay this gets cancelled uh, now <coughs> volume is same so here they, they have given the condition the volume is same because naturally the volume uh, d- does not uh, uh, gets uh, um, increased or decrease okay uh, so we only due to the distance traveled the temperature increases okay now the we have to write this as p1 okay p1 v1 divided by p2 v2 is equal to N, uh, nk t1 divided by nk t2 okay now what will happen this nk uh, nk gets cancelled okay since the volume is constant in both the cases okay For, from the first condition at home and at, uh, and at school the volume also gets cancelled okay now the remaining thing we are left with p1 by p2 is equal to t1 by t2 now p2 is the pressure at pressure of the tire pressure inside the tire in the, at the school okay so now, now we have to just substitute the values and finally what we get 249 kilo pascal 249 kilo pascal so we are just <coughs> getting this 312 by 300 into 240 what is uh, p p1 240 okay p1 is 240 kilo pascal so naturally we get Uh, to, uh, uh, in uh, this 240 is kilo pascal we need to con- converting it into pascal we have to uh, just multiply it by into 10 to the power 3 pascal okay uh, the, they have forgotten the multiplication here so it is 240 into 10 to the power 3 pascal okay next we will see the next problem when a person breathes his lungs can hold up to 5.5 liters of air at body temperature 37. Uh, 37 degrees celsius and atmospheric pressure one atmosphere is equal to 101 kilo pascal this air contains 21 percentage oxygen calculate the number of oxygen molecules in the lungs see we see 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 this body a person has a lungs and uh, the pressure inside the lungs is okay the pressure inside the lungs is 101 kilo pascal okay the person breathes his lungs can hold 5.5 liters of air at a body temperature 37 degrees celsius okay so uh, the the 5.5 so the volume volume is equal to 5.5 liters volume is 5.5 liters and the pressure is 101 kilo pascal and uh, what temperature at 37 degree celsius this 37 degree celsius is converted into kelvin so uh, when we are converting it to kelvin what we have to do plus 273 we are, they are just 
adding it okay we they are just converting this 37 plus 273 how much it will come 37 plus 273 so what will happen 1 3 10 okay so here they have put this 310 kelvin temperature we, uh, because by converting celsius to kelvin now what is that we have to find out calculate the number of oxygen molecules in the lungs so if this is the condition how much will be the number of molecules okay uh, number of what is the uh, number of molecules means n okay number of molecules n okay now we can treat the the air inside the lungs as an ideal gas no remember what is the meaning for this ideal gas wow uh, so for, for those who don't know what is an ideal condition i will just explain ideal condition is an imaginary condition okay imaginary condition which is uh, taken into consideration for the purpose of experimentation or for for the purpose of explanation okay or for solving problems okay so all the conditions will not be perfect under uh, uh, under operating conditions under any situation in the practical situations but we have to assume something as ideal or uh, imaginary okay perfect uh, when you are saying ideal it is perfect okay we have to assume something as 100 percentage so it, uh, so uh, the only then we will be able to make a comparison with that uh, ideal condition okay uh, so now we can treat the air inside the lungs as an ideal gas ideal gas means suppose somebody is a perfect person okay without any uh, like um, ideal that is ideal condition means he is an ideal when we say somebody is an ideal person he is a uh, he, um, he is a very good person okay and by all means but uh, in practical life is there any anybody called a perfect person in everything okay no smoking no drinking no uh, he is excellent in studies in everything a uh, excellent character uh, so is it, is it possible to be in perfect in everything all the conditions no so the so in the ideal condition we are assuming uh, somebody is perfect so this is the thing find the number of molecules so what is the thing we have to find out n n is the number thing pv is equal to nkt we have that formula okay here the volume is given in liters okay so remember this we they have given 5.5 liters of air inside the body okay so one liter is the volume occupied by cube of side 10 centimeter okay so one liter is equal to uh, 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube so we have already seen say for example okay say for example we have a we have a container or tank assume assume a water tank assume a water tank okay uh, we have one meter here okay over length one meter width one meter height okay so what will happen uh, um, when, when we are filling it with water what what is the density of water okay when we are filling everything with water we get 1000 liters okay right we get 1000 when you fill this uh, 1 meter length 1 meter width 1 meter height height of uh, empty space full of water okay full of water okay full of water what will get 1000 liters okay we will get 1000 liters so that is the thing which we have already seen in the basic definitions you can go through the previous videos okay volume and uh, density uh, in videos it will be given now this one liter uh, is the volume occupied by cube of side 10 centimeter okay so now this we are we are now but now we have to represent first this one point one liter so one liter so if this can occupy thousand liters so what is the space a volume occupied for one liter one by thousand of a meter cube right so this occupies one meter cube this one meter cube length one meter length one meter width one meter height uh, that is one meter cube okay this one meter cube um, where occupies can occupy thousand liters of uh, uh, water or a ga gas okay now when this when we are taking only one liter okay one liter will occupy a small area right small volume 
that's what they are saying as 10 centimeter 10 centimeter 10 centimeter right it will occupy a small space so so 10 centimeter length 10 centimeter width 10 centimeter height when it is uh, okay uh, uh, when it is filled with gas it will uh, so the space is 1 by 1000 that's what is saying uh, or 10 to the power minus 3 so 1 by 1000 can be written as 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube okay now uh, so we are writing so for uh, 1 liter we have 10 to the power minus 3 for we are what we have the volume 5.5 liter 5.5 liter 10 to the power minus 3 so this volume portion is complete now what is the pressure oh, pressure we are already we have seen what is the pressure they have given pressure is 101 kilo pascal right 101 kilo pascal can be written as 1.01 uh, 1.01 into 2 right one uh, right so 101 can be written as what 1.01 into 10 to the power 2 right 10 to the power 2 1.01 10 to the power 2 already we have kilo pascal kilo pascal means like kilo means 10 to the power 3 right so 10 to the power 3 so this 10 to the power 2 into 10 to the power 3 becomes 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 so now we have the pressure pressure also gets completed now what is the next thing we have k k is a constant which we already know where is k here k k is the Boltzmann's constant 1.381 at 10 to the power minus 23 so we already know here okay 1.38 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin what is the temperature 310 kelvin right we already seen 310 kelvin how it came so naturally by uh, 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 striking out all these things and multiplying and dividing naturally we get 1.29 into 10 to the power 23 molecules but what is the condition here only 21 percentage of the uh, number of molecules is oxygen what we are supposed to find is the uh, calculate the number of oxygen molecules only we have to find out not the entire molecules so what we have to do out of this we are just calculating 21 percentage right 21 percentage so when we saying percentage we are dividing 21 by 100 okay uh, then now we get number of oxygen molecules is equal to 2.7 10 to the power 22 molecules okay Okay, friends, uh, I hope you must have understood the video. Uh, so, if you have any doubts or comments, you can, uh, uh, you need not hesitate, you can put it in the comment section. I will be ready to clarify uh, your doubts. And uh, uh, those, I thank all those who are subscribed. Those who are not subscribed, kindly subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you, friends. We will see you in the next video. Okay, thank you.